Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, we've got to do part two of Doc Martin's 1460 Remastered program. And in today's part, we've got to talk about the Raf Simmons Doc Martin's 1460 collaboration. So guys, we have talked about it before on the channel, but we'll, I'll refresh everyone's memory just in case we forgot, because it was a while ago when I talked about the first part. So to celebrate the 1460s 60th birthday, one of Doc Martin's most iconic silhouettes, you probably see it day to day. You, If you walked through the streets today, looked at people's feet, you probably see that iconic Doc Martin silhouette everywhere. It, it's literally one of the most iconic shoes of all time. And I, I would love to get a pair. I don't own a pair, but I would love to get a pair. But as I discussed in the previous video, in our Teddy Fresh SpongeBob video, I, I, I have to call it with the shoes. I got to call it with the clothing. Priorities, priorities. I'm not made of money. God, I wish I was, but yeah, priorities. Can't buy heaps of clothes, heaps of sneakers, need to calm it down. In saying that though, Del Schutze is releasing that new hoodie. <laughs> Uh, uh, priorities priorities anyway okay so yeah the 1460s it's the 60th anniversary and doc martens wants to celebrate that now they are doing a, a a program called the 1460 remastered program where they bring on famous designers fav, uh, famous labels and get them to reimagine the iconic silhouette in whatever way they'd like we've seen the first collaboration which was with our favorite Japanese streetwear brand, A Bathing Ape. And this time around, we've got someone I wasn't expecting to actually collaborate with uh, Doc Martens. This was someone who I honestly would have seen kind of just above Doc Martens in a way. If, in the way that he's, he's such a huge designer, he's influenced and done so much. The collaborating with Doc Martens, I kind of thought was beneath him. Not to discredit Doc Martens, but do you know what I mean? The, the person that I am talking about is, of course, Raf Simmons. I mean, it's, yeah, I, 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 he, isn't he moving to Prada to be one of the lead designers of Prada's menswear? I, I might be mistaken, but I, I swear I saw something like that announced in the past week or two weeks. So, do you know what I mean? The lead designer of such a high-end brand collaborating with Doc Martens? I, I, I'm kind of blown away by it. Um, but yeah, uh, this collaboration unfortunately already released. I should have covered it ages ago, but it literally slipped past me. The only reason I saw it was because about a week ago, I saw it pop up on Instagram. Like someone that wasn't Doc Martens, wasn't Raf, shared it. And then I was like, oh geez, yeah, that's right. The 1416 pro uh, 1460 program. I have to cover this. And even though it has released, I did want to cover it and talk about it because I said that I would cover all the other designers redoing the 1460s so i felt like we still need to talk about it and i it also is still available on farfetch if you guys are still interested in it it is a little bit pricey i think it was something like 500 and something usd so a little bit pricey but if you're into raf if you're into uh doc martens if you're trying to collect each individual one of the you know people that redesigned the 1460s from this program I'm sure you'll come up with some way of making the money to buy them. So it's still available on Farfetch. Um, if someone reminds me, I'll put it in the description section below for you guys. I found the link. If I remember myself, I'll put it in there for you as well. But yeah, uh, to cover the uh, collaboration and to talk about it and go over my thoughts and opinions about it, we'll head over to a Hypebeast article that I have for you, which has all the release details before it released. And I think that's probably the best way to go about covering them and also crediting people that have, you know, got, gathered all this information to talk about them. So I think that's probably the best way to do it and the best way to honor everyone's hard work. So without further ado, let's head on over to the Hypebeast article to read and look at the Raf Simmons 1460 Doc Martens Remastered Program Collaboration. And here we are, guys. So... Let's read the article, go over the details, and then we can dive into the images here. So, Raf Simmons adds punk-inspired rings to Doc Martens 1460 silhouette, part of the 1460 remastered project. So, this is what they look like. Not much has been altered from them besides the obvious punk-inspired rings here, and just a little bit of co-branding there on the side panel. Not much, not much has changed, but we'll dive into the release details and see what's going on. So, 
Raph Simmons has continued his ongoing partnership with Doc Martens with his collaboration making up of the Heritage Footwear's label 1460 remastered project. Ongoing partnership. I didn't know he had a previous collaboration with them. I don't pay huge attention to Raph. Maybe that's on me or maybe I should pay more attention to him. He is a very good designer from what people have been telling me. I haven't actually had a look at his, a lot of his works, but yeah, I, d I didn't know it was ongoing. So I guess he's done something before. Um, I'd have to look into that. I didn't know that. So there's something <laughs> you learn something new every day. Uh, this must be, yeah, uh, one of his furthermore collaborations. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, go away, high beast. That's a new detail that I learned there. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, the new release sees Simmons add uh, nickel rings to the classic boots smooth leather upper, a reference to the motif that appears throughout the designer's recent collections. The rings themselves are inspired by the popularity of customization during the new, romant uh, new romantic and punk club scene that emerged in the late 70s. While their placement on the boots is a nod to mid-century design furniture, the rings are, are the only adornment appeared on the black boots, which are finished with a Raph Simmons X Dr. Martens or Doc Martens embossed logo. The Raph Simmons X Doc Martens 1460 remastered boot is set to release via the brand's web store on February 22nd. Now, I don't know if this is sold out on uh, the Doc Martens web store. Whenever I try and access the web store, it redirects me to the Australian version. And none of these amazing collaborations ever released on the Australian store. So I'm unable to view it. Um, definitely let me know, guys. Go to the Doc Martens web store. Let me know if it's still available there because I, I honestly can't see it. So we have some photos outside of the photo shoot with no background besides the white background there. I think we should look at the ones to start off with with the background just to give it, you know, some, I don't know, nice background scenery, I suppose. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So here are the rings. Now, the way that the article sets it out, the title adds it as kind of a misleading uh, representation of what I assume Raph tried to do here. Because if Raph tried to add a punk aesthetic or a punk inspired uh, aesthetic to the Doc Martens, I think he's kind of fallen a bit short here. I kind of feel like just adding the rings isn't enough. When I think of punk, I think of the hair, the crazy hair, the rings, you know, the, uh, you know, the uh, piercings and all that. I think of chains, the, you know, the clothing wearing chains. I think of wearing a lot of black. I mean, of course, that's kind of already done because the 1460 is black. That's what I really think of when I, th oh, and tattoos, crazy tattoos. I think of crazy tattoos as part of the punk aesthetic. That's what I think. That's how I personally feel. I may be interpreting punk differently to how you guys would interpret it, but that's how I feel a punk aesthetic goes, right? So if the way that this article has set it out, it kind of initially how I interpreted it was he tried to put a punk aesthetic to a shoe that was used during a punk era. It kind of works with the rings, but I felt like if it, if it was trying to incorporate a punk aesthetic, it needed a little bit more like it needed some chains between the rings. It needed some like crazy outlandish graphics. Um, I don't, not necessarily some crazy hair, but just some more punk inspired aesthetic to it. But the article continues and goes on to talk about that it's part of his recent collaborate uh, collections that he's done and, and also inspired by furniture as well, mid-century design furniture. So there's a little bit more to it than just the punk aesthetic. So. If he was trying to go for a punk aesthetic Doc Martens, I personally think that Raph kind of failed here, but it looks like he was trying to go for a bit more than that. And I'd have to look at his recent collections and assess those and then assess this collection to have a full understanding of what he was trying to achieve here with this collaboration. Now, in saying that, removing what he was trying to achieve, if he achieved it or not, what do I think of the overall design? I think it's a kind of cool reimagination of it. The actual loops itself are kind of cool. I kind of would have liked maybe like a co-branding tag near the pool tab. I know that I remember the bathing ape ones had a little ape head logo extra tag here. That was kind of cool to have. I don't know. It might have been nice just to have like an extra tag saying Raph Simmons on it. You know, something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me expecting co-branding all the time when you see a collaboration like this. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, it's cool. It's cool. It doesn't excite me. It doesn't make me be like, oh my God, I need this. Ah, it's, it's all right. 
It's all right. Nothing too crazy. Uh, some people might be more drawn to it. Uh, obviously, people with maybe more punk-inspired aesthetics would be drawn to it. Uh, I, I assume, though, if you've got a punk aesthetic, you've already got, like, three pairs of Doc Martens in the, in the wardrobe. So, you know, I, I assume you've already met your demand there on Doc Martens. But maybe this really appeals to you just simply with these added rings. Definitely let me know in the comment section below if that is the case. If, like, just these simple little added rings is enough for you to be like, yep, I'm going to buy them. I would love to know. I would love to know in that comment section below. Uh, yeah, no, I I would love to see um, a solely focused punk inspired uh, Doc Martin. Ones with more what I see as punk, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? More punk inspiration, I suppose. More punk inspired detailing to it. Because I, I don't know. I just feel like the rings are cut a little bit short. But as I said, I don't know if that was his full aim to be fully punk inspired. It looks like he was inspired by furniture as well. I'd have to look at his other recent collaborations and collections to get a full idea. But either way, it's a pretty cool collection, uh, pretty cool collaboration. Um, I, I know this will appeal to some people, and this is a cool second edition. Uh, second addition to this collection I, I i'm really keen to see the rest of them what part three and so on will look like and who actually is you know going to be receiving that mantle at part three because we've had a famous japanese streetwear brand a bathing ape as part one we've had raf simmons as part two i'd feel the pressure if i was part three i'd be like damn i have to top bape i have to top raf like that's no small task that is no small task right there but yeah, hey, well, I mean, hey, uh, Doc Martens, give me a call. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I'd do. Probably pick a later era of uh, people that wore Doc Martens and then apply that era and theme to the Doc Martin 1460 in some way. I'm overthinking it too much. It's not like Doc Martin's going to call me up and say, Daniel, we want you to do part four or part three, you know? But anyway, it's, yeah, it's a pretty cool second addition to it. Um, I would consider picking it up if it one wasn't so expensive and two came in my size hey i reckon this would be a cool 1460 to own for my first ever 1460 the raf 1460s damn bro that'd be pretty clean but yeah that's all i've really got to say about it guys so let me know let me know how do you feel about this 1460 is it enough for you to be like this is a crazy design i absolutely love it it's a cop let's buy it or are you kind of just like it could have been done a little bit better. There could have been more details added to it. It doesn't feel like it's very punk inspired. Either way, either way, I want to know everything that you've got to say about this sneaker. If you copped it, if you didn't cop it, if you're looking to cop it, if you love it, if you hate it, everything. Let me know everything you've got to say about the Raph Simmons Doc Martens in, oh, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or as always, in that comment section below. And that's it guys! I, yeah, unfortunately I don't have a lot to say about the Raph Simmons Doc Martens collaboration because I haven't dived a lot into Raph. I should, but man, I've already got so much on my plate. I don't want to dedicate hours of my time reading into Raph and looking to Raph. Like, <laughs> is that like a 10 minute summary video that I could just watch and then like I could, I could have a brief idea? Link me that in the comment section below if you guys have one of those. If you have a Raph Simmons explained like, even if it's like half an hour to an hour, I'll watch it. I just, just, I don't want to put in the effort right now because I've got so much going on. <laughs> Which is why this video is a lot shorter than my recent videos because I don't have as much to say about it, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There might be some hardcore rap fans watching like, look at this idiot talking about rap. Doesn't know anything about rap. Yeah, fair enough. I had to take the collaboration more from a standpoint of how do I feel looking at it rather than the inspirations behind it i'm sorry i'm sorry i wish i knew more but they don't pay me enough <laughs> i have to do everything else to earn the money to survive i don't i don't get money by looking up and learning about raf if only though right if only if i could get, be, be, be paid to look up and learn about raf mm, give me that occupation <laughs> anyway that was the collaboration between raf simmons and Doc Martens as part of their 1460 remastered program. That is the second collaboration we've seen in this program. I'm looking forward to part three. Uh, it released on February 22nd on their online store, but it is still available on Farfetch if you guys are looking to pick up a pair. And moving on from that, let me know on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or as always in that comment section below, are you going to pick up a pair? 
is it for you is it not for you you kind of like yeah this is kind of wacky this, this ain't my thing seriously i want all your thoughts and opinions on the rap simmons doc martens 1460s in the comment section below guys now that is everything that is everything to do with the raf simmons doc martens collaboration so until the next doc martens video until the next raf simmons video until the next sneaker video guys i'll catch you later